welcome to the mind-bending world of reality. As we ponder the nature of existence, we delve into the tantalizing realm of simulation theory. Could everything we perceive be nothing more than lines of code in a cosmic program? Strap in as we explore the mind-blowing implications of this theory and uncover the clues that hint at a simulated reality. Simulation theory isn't just a modern day musing. It has roots in ancient cultures and has been pondered by brilliant minds throughout history. But it was Nick Bostrom, a philosopher at Oxford, who brought it into the spotlight with his thought-provoking paper in 2003. Bostrom's simulation trilemma presents us with three intriguing possibilities, each raising profound questions about our reality. Bostrom says one of the following must be true. 1. We destroy ourselves before we're able to create a simulation. 2. We're able to create a simulation, but choose not to. Or 3. We are definitely in a simulation. Bostrom believes each of these are equally likely. But why should we entertain such a mind-bending notion? Well, consider this. We live in an era where simulations are commonplace. From predicting weather patterns to modelling complex systems. Simulations are integral to our understanding of the world. So why wouldn't an advanced civilization create simulations of its own existence? This leads us to the concept of ancestral simulations. Simulated worlds created by simulated civilizations, forming an infinite chain of nested realities, with each layer potentially unaware of the layers above. But how do we know if we're in a simulation? Like the film The Matrix so elegantly showcases, it lies within the glitches. From the Mandela effect to unexplainable phenomena in quantum mechanics, there are tantalising hints that our reality may not be as solid as it seems. If you don't know what the Mandela Effect is, then get ready for this. The Mandela Effect is when numerous individuals hold memories of events that diverge from reality. This strange event is named after the collective recollection of millions, who distinctly remember Nelson Mandela passing away in prison, which contradicts historical fact. People recall vivid details such as seeing his wife alongside his casket in a televised funeral procession, although no such event ever occurred. And if we're in a simulation, who's to say what's real and merely a programmed delusion? As we peer deeper into the fabric of reality, we encounter strange experiments like the double slit experiment. This mind-bending test suggests that particles behave differently when observed raising questions about the nature of reality itself. Why would particles behave differently when we're watching? But perhaps the most compelling evidence lies in the patterns that permeate the universe. From the Fibonacci sequence to the golden ratio, nature seems to follow a mathematical script, a script that's remarkably similar to the code of a simulation. And what about the future? With the exponential growth of technology, we're on the brink of creating simulations that rival reality. If we can create a simulation, who's to say our own existence isn't a simulation, created by a more advanced civilization in the layer above our own? Ultimately, the question of whether we live in a simulation is as much philosophical as it is scientific. It challenges our understanding of reality, consciousness, and our place in the cosmos. Whether we're living in a base reality or a simulated world, one thing's for sure, the journey to uncovering the truth is as fascinating as it is uncertain. Ponder this, what if everything you know is just a line of code in a cosmic algorithm? Are you ready to venture further down the rabbit hole? I will leave that thought with you.